Oh yeah, I forgot I was playing this game too. Okay, well anyway, um, last time we finished up this level, Scuba Duba, which is infuriating. Now we gotta go to Shark Attack, which sounds double infuriating. Oh, it's a swimming level. Oh, thank God. We all love those. In all serious, the swimming level isn't that bad. Except when I can't avoid shit. And also when I forget the controls. And also when I miss stuff so that I can't get 100% completion. And also when there's obstacles from every corner. <laughs> How many lives do I have left? Five. I suppose that's better than none. Okay, so... How to avoid these eels? I guess you go down. I don't know. There's the barely visible jellyfish. This game really loves throwing barely visible obstacles at you, doesn't it? Oh, and did I mention the swimming controls are really tight? And there's random explosions everywhere? Yeah, everybody loves those. Well, I guess they're not completely random, since you can see the bombs, but like, those are at the top of the screen by the time you find them. It wouldn't have mattered. Well, in either case, let's see if we can get through this. How in the world are you expected to do this without getting hit once? I don't know. Thank God we finally reached a check. Thanks, Namco. Your continued support makes me want to keep playing Let's Plays every single day. Except not really when you're blowing me up with oil drums. And, and, uh, whatever the hell those mines are called, underwater mines, I'm just gonna say. I still don't get how you're expected to get all the fruit in this level without taking a single hit. Some of them are obviously placed in front of obstacles, I mean, look at this. This isn't so bad, this orange, but... Look at the textures on that shark, I mean, like... I know this is GameCube, but come on! Oh, now I'm just nitpicking. I don't want to nitpick. Okay, there's torpedoes here, and I still can't avoid them. Maybe if... Maybe if Pac-Man didn't take forever to turn when he was swimming. Fluid friction. You're a bitch. Oh, now look at that! Huh. I managed to get through there. Oh, being scathed, I guess. If scathed is a verb. And I've managed to go through that without getting it. Okay. Let's go a little faster. Speed things up a little bit. Mr. Crate, who cares? Right now, I'm focused. The priority is survival. And chests, but we all know I can't open chests. Oh, yay! Completely missed that ghost. I suck. But whatever. So, extra life. This game is compensating for how bad I am. I guess if you're not actively trying to search for these power-ups, these levels aren't that hard, but... It's ridiculous. You turn so slowly. There's a chest back there that I barely saw, and I didn't get it. I'm missing a lot of chests. I would make a terrible pirate. A maze! Save me, maze! Dear God, save me, maze. And now I'm in pipes above the water. Okay. 
Please don't tell me there's a pipe level. Ah! The Clyde, you scared me. You're supposed to be the dumb one. Hey, 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 hey. It is Pac-Man's job to sort against gang violence. I have no clue why I just said that. I guess because the ghosts are gang. I, a gang, I don't know. Well, I'm done for. That marks the first time I've died in one of these mazes in a while. Then again, it's probably because I haven't touched this game in God knows how long. So yeah, I took yet another hiatus because, well, right now I'm having pretty much problems with depression and anxiety. I mean, like, I know, big whoop. I'm a nerd, that usually happens to a lot of nerds. It even happened to the Spoonie one, I mean, he, like, I don't know what's going on with him, but he keeps talking about his depression and how it's pretty much... I shouldn't have done that. Anyway how it's um, keeping him from making new videos, and that's pretty much what's going on here. Except, I have more anxiety issues, and oh my goodness! Thank you. Yeah. I'd go in depth, but... You don't need to know that. That's personal information right there. And if I told you, I would have to kill you. Hey, well, there's an upside to this. I collected all the strawberries, and then died immediately. Because the turning is so stiff. I turn like a semi-truck. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the necessary checkpoint. Oh god. Ah! Please. Health point, help me! Thank you. Watch, after all this, I'm gonna miss one pack pellet. It's gonna happen. See tube Well, on the broad side, that only took about seven minutes, so, um... We'll see how long the next level is, and I'm pretty sure I can complete that in less than 13 minutes. Please, dear God, not- don't be ghost by you. It's gonna be ghost by you. Okay, well, I missed two fruits. And I missed three pack pellets, so that's, I guess, a little bit less comforting. And is this another swimming level? My god! Wow. Pac-Man, so good of you to make it. And just in time, I might say... Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna voice this. Oh, a naval fleet? He has a naval fleet of ghosts? Yeah, I, I completely believe that. The pack sub? That sounds cool. I haven't had to work out all the bugs in this system yet, so this level really isn't complete. You'll just fall into an endless void. Six torpedoes at the time. You bastard. I can't believe you. What the hell is this? Am I doing the entire level backwards? Okay. This is more of a shoot em up stage, I suppose. Okay, let's test this baby out. Oh yeah! Look at that. It's much better than driving around in those stupid... than swimming in those stupid ass flippers. It's like Mario, he can only fire six torpedoes at a time. Really, there's no point. These mines are easier to dodge than like... The Goomba from Pac-Man. The Goomba from Pac-Man. Yeah, that's totally what it is. I mean, the Goomba from Super Mario Brothers. I'm terrible at this. And these guys aren't even that hard to dodge, too. What the heck? The swimming levels were harder than these, and I missed a token, but hey. Who cares? You wanna see Miss Pac-Man? Go to an arcade.
what the heck is this? Press X to use smart bomb. I guess he just left a smart bomb in the middle of the ocean for me. Professor Peck, whatever his name is. <coughs> Oh my god, it's trying to spice things up by adding easy to dodge pipes. Oh, my smart bomb went away, what the hell? Ah, you ran into the pipe. Okay, so... I missed another fruit. I think. Hey. This level is cake. Compared to the other level, I just did. That was ridiculous. I mean, I don't even know if you were supposed to dodge all of that. I don't know if they thought it was completely possible to complete that level without getting hit once. But hey. We all live in a yellow pack submarine. That's what the level is to called, so it's not very original. Freaking Namco beat me to the joke. It really wasn't a joke, it's more of a reference. Shut up. I don't get it. This game has ridiculously weird difficulty spikes. Like, one moment it throws everything at you, and then all of a sudden you get this boring-ass stage where, like, barely anything can hit you. Oh god, what do I do here? Oh, and it's got that, uh, Superman 64 draw distance in this level. That'd be perfect for the oncoming obstacles. Okay, well I guess it's just, let's just stop trying to fire at these guys all the time, let's just start dodging. Oh god, I exploded. I don't think I even saw Pac-Man. Do I have to start all the way from... Jesus, game. This isn't fun. Earth to Namco. Point, you might as well be watching a movie. Probably still wouldn't be done by the time I completed this level. I don't know how I missed that token, and I still missed that token. Because the pack sub can't go down. I suppose. I think the most offsetting music in platformers has gotta be the orchestral pieces, you know what I mean? I mean, like, I like orchestral pieces. In, like, Mario Galaxy, they showed that you can actually put those to pretty good use, but that was in space. I mean, like, that's, like, the final frontier. I mean, like,. Seriously? If you're gonna save epic music for something, how about something not as boring as this? Watch, I can guarantee you I can just sit right here, on this corner, and nothing will hit me. Okay, well maybe I have to move there, but still. Really, game? This is the hardest level you got, huh? I guess it's compensating for all those other water levels I've played. Like, how boring they were. God, this moment. This point in time, I'd rather be playing Aquaman Battle for Atlantis. I don't even know why I'm saying that. I, re I really wouldn't. Oh, there's the checkpoint. It's only five centimeters from where I died. Thanks, game. God dang it! And then it just throws everything at me. What the hell is this? And then they all run into the tubes, and then... 
you got these guys, and then they crash into me. They kamikaze. Evidently exploded again. Seriously though, what? Who taught these people to drive submarines? They just run right into the pipes. This moment, I'd be better off just playing the frickin' entire level with the Yakety Sax dubbed over. Look at this! Tries to kamikaze you. Look at that. Excellent driving skills and... What the hell? Press button to fire gun. Whoa! This gun is entirely useless. It fires in every other direction except for the enemy. Have you ever met a gun that did that? I mean, sure, there was that weird snake gun from Contra, but like... Even that was more useful than that. Okay, we got a checkpoint here and there's nothing here. Looks like more enemies and mines. Most spectacular level design ever. I'm beginning to miss the Galaxian stage from Pac-Man World 1. I wonder if you can even miss these checkpoints. I wonder if, like, the submarine can, like, literally veer off and, like, not hit the checkpoint and you have to, like, restart the entire mission. That would be terrible, because this mission apparently takes an hour. I'm not calling it a mission. It's more like a level. Why am I being so oddly specific and why am I blowing up all the time? This level also seems to be, um, dry on extra lives. I guess it, I guess all those extra lives it gave me in the other levels, I guess this is compensating for it. Now, I still don't see the targeting system is bad enough. I've always had a theory that if you, uh, include vehicles and platformers, it's destined to never be a hit platformer ever again. I guess that evidently came true with Pac-Man. How are you supposed to collect the fruit? Like, you have to blow them up, and then you have to stand in their line of fire, and then... I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. get out of here. Smart bomb. That'd be nice if the smart bomb actually stood on while I traversed these mines, but I guess it doesn't. Imagine in Star Fox Adventures, not in Star Fox Adventures, that game was terrible. Um, Star Fox 64 where you collected like all three smart bombs and then you get hit once and then you lose them all. Stupid. But seriously though, I mean, like, I guess, I guess people really hate Star Fox Adventures. To be honest, I, I didn't really see what was wrong with it because, like, um, evidently, I didn't grow up playing Star Fox 64 or Star Fox or whatever for those Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo games. Um, yeah, I didn't really grow up in the time of the Super Nintendo. I was, I was in the Nintendo 64 era. That's all I had. I, I don't think I even had a PlayStation. All I did was play Nintendo 64 all the time. <coughs> and I never did pick up Star Fox 64, so I really didn't know what to expect from Adventures. Is this level still going? to make up more stupid stories about adventures. 
Okay, I guess it abruptly ended after that cutscene. Well, what do you know? It's two, 20 minutes into the game. I almost feel disgraced for recording this part. It's just a bunch of nothing. Is it? There's another submarine level. I don't... I don't why would they do this? You know what? Screw it. I'm done for today. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I don't think I can take another submarine level. And, um, I've run out of time anyway, so, um, sorry for making this part boring, but that was the game's fault, not mine, so. Um, until next time, I am the same guy, Lord XMX the X Mario's. And if you're gonna design a game, don't do that.